Hello, my garden nerds. I have a problem with my kale. I have a severe white fly infestation. My kale was growing fantastic and then I started to no notice it getting a little funky and as I flipped the leaves over, there they were. All the white fly eggs and the larva. So I primarily found them on my brassicas. I really haven't gotten them on anything else, although they can infest anything from brassicas to tomatoes to eggplants, even house plants. And in the colder weather climates like ours, zone 6B is where I'm at, they are really bad in indoor plants. They, they mostly infest house plants, but in the warmer summer days, you can find them infesting things like the kale. So what is white fly? White fly are related to aphids. They're in that family and they attack a plant in a similar way where they suck the juices out of the plant and it eventually will become weak. And the problem with it is when it weakens the plant, the plant doesn't have the strength to create the photosynthesis it needs to survive. So eventually the leaves start to wilt and turn yellow and die and eventually fall off the plant, killing the plant. So another issue with these white fly is as they're sucking the life out of your plants, they're also producing this substance called honeydew. Now honeydew is a residue that's left on the plants and then also creates a perfect environment for fungus to start growing. The fungus eventually will also suffocate the plant and kill it. I know these plants look fairly healthy, but as I flip the leaves over, you can see all of those white fly and white fly larvae and white fly eggs just covering them. And some of them are in much worse shape. Like these are just not even edible anymore, unfortunately. Um, they, are, they are in tragic, tragic shape. And they leave a sticky residue and the plants just, they wilt and die. They're just, they're not gonna survive. And I don't know if this time of the morning they don't seem to be floating around, but during the day as you're picking and, and brushing against them. The white flies are floating up everywhere and, and spreading. Um, luckily for me, I have a lot of garden spiders, which do help, but obviously at this point, my plants are in such bad shape that there's, no, there's really not any kind of saving them for this year. Another issue that makes it really hard to get rid of white fly once they are on your plants is that the ants love the honeydew, those little sugar ants. So they will actually protect the white fly and their larvae from any kind of predators. And in return, they harvest the honeydew. So they're actually farming the aphids and the white fly. That makes it much more difficult to get rid of them because they're protecting them from the predators. So if you catch this early enough, there are things you can do to help stop it from spreading. One of the things you can do is to make sure you're spraying the underside of the leaves down with water, knocking all of the larva, the eggs, and the flies off. You can also use an insecticidal soap. Um, you can find a lot of recipes online for that. Very simple and non-toxic. It's just a combination of a dish soap and water and that will also help to stop the spread. That's something you would want to do either late in the evening or early, early in the morning before the rest of the pollinators come out so that you're not interfering with the pollination of your plants. Also keep an eye out for those small sugar ants because those are again, something that's going to farm the aphids and the white flies and create that environment for them that protects them and keeps them on your plants. So. Um, do be on the lookout for the ants, which I did actually notice quite a few ant colonies in my yard this year. My fault, I did not 
take the initiative again because I haven't had a whole lot of time in my gardens this year. I did not take the initiative to take care of that when it happened. Next year I will be diligently keeping my eye out for the ant colonies, the ant populations, and the white flies right off the bat. So I will unfortunately be getting rid of the rest of these brassicas, um, probably throwing them to my chickens or in the garbage. I will not be putting them in my compost because I don't want to have this spread. If there's any fungus because of the honeydew, I don't want that spreading. So these plants will not be going in the compost. They will either be going to my chickens to be eaten or they will be going in the garbage. I hope that this helps you out in the future if you run into any issues with the white flies. Be on the lookout for them early on in the season when your plants are healthy still and you can prevent it from spreading and happening in your gardens. If you guys did find this helpful, please don't forget to click that like button. Also, that subscribe button down there. You wanna click that so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you guys all so much for watching.